Most of the web-based streaming platforms allow for six to 10 guests on screen at a time, where locally installed streaming platforms have some limitations. My favorite is Ecamm Live and their interview mode can do four guests. So if you add in the host, that's me, you can have five people on screen at a time. This works for most, but if you need more, you can do some gymnastics to make Zoom and Skype work. But what if there was a web-based alternative that would allow you to add in additional guests to Ecamm that's totally free? <laughs> would you be interested? <laughs> VDO.ninja is that solution. And while it has some quirks, it's feature rich and will absolutely get the job done. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you the nuts and bolts of live streaming for the do-it-yourself streamer. And today we're looking at adding additional guests in Ecamm using Video Ninja. Let's dive in. So here we are in live demo mode. You can see all of my screens all around and you can see actually over here on the side, I have several guests in the system. One is a good friend, Roby. Another one, we're just gonna use <laughs> the name that she just selected, the cooking prophet is, y'all will get that in another video. Then I have my laptop, which is off to the side of me over here um, in the system as an additional guest. And then here we have my good friend, uh, water. We'll call him water, even though you can see his name, we'll call him water. <laughs> so, uh, we have four people in the system and f you already know that this is the limit. So you have the four people in the system plus me, which means, well, I make the fifth person. And that means that you're at your limit for Ecamm guests. You can have four guests plus the host, which is me. So I'm going to shift to another scene where I have all of the guests um, on the screen. Yes, and I am in the middle. So we have all of the guests on the screen and I'm in the middle. And this would normally be your max, but now we're gonna show you a platform that will enable you to bring in additional guests in a new way. So let's do that right now. So here we are on VDO.ninja video.ninja on the site right now. And this is the site that you will use. It, it kind of serves as almost an additional guest page for bringing in guests to streaming platforms, uh, depending on what that streaming platform has. Now, this has been made for OBS. I said that earlier, open broadcast software, and that is an, another tier three streaming platform that is free, but I'm gonna show you how to use this with Ecamm. So here we're on the main page, video.ninja. You can click create a room. I'm going to call this Ecamm Extra Guest. And we're going to put in a the optional password of cool. I have these options here. You can see where it says the guest can see the director, but not guests videos. Definitely want to leave that unchecked because I want them to see the other videos. The director will be performing as well, appearing in group scenes. That's not an issue for me. So I'm leaving that unchecked as well. You do have some default codex here. I'm going to leave that default and we can either enter the control room, which is what I want to enter. But I just wanted to show you this other option of being able to enter as a participant so that you can just chat with the people who are in the group. So we enter and you can see there are four slots here. These four guest slots are just for demonstration. More than four guests can actually join a room. So there you can have many guests in this room. So here we have the option to say whether or not guests can hear others and you can customize this a little bit. You have a lot of options that you can use here uh, in this system, uh, obfuscate, invite, all, all kinds of things that you can play around with. Definitely something you should look into. This is if you wanted to capture a group scene using OBS or other studio software to capture a group video mix. Nef no need to do that. Well, at least not for me, not right now. Here I'm saying I'm going to go ahead and grab the link for the guest to enter this room. And I'm going to send this link to a guest and have them enter. But I'm also going to use the link on my own machine to enter the room as well. Let's go. So here I've opened up a incognito window and I'm going to hit enter to activate that link that we just pasted here from the from the uh, Ninja video 
no, sorry, Video Ninja uh, guest session. And of course, we know the password is cool. I'm typing that in. And then I can see, you can look and take some options here. Okay, so there's an option of sharing, a, streaming a media file, screen share with room, join with camera, or you can share a website. So you have a number of options that you can do here. I'm just gonna take the camera option. So I say join with camera. I do have to sell, Chrome is asking, can, can do, are you allowing this? I'm gonna say yes, Say so we say allow. I'm gonna select the, let's see, we got a top-down camera. So I'm gonna select the top-down camera. So we select this camera here and it also does audio. So you do need to select a microphone. So we wanna select a microphone, we're gonna say, in in my case, I'm going to probably say no audio, uh, but but in, in the in this instance of what you would want, you would, of course, your guest would select the microphone that would work best for them. So definitely keep that in mind as well. I want to select the microphone that works best for them. So I'm going to select this virtual mic and hit that arrow again for the destination. I'm going to select again something else that I know was not is not going to interfere with my audio that I have going on right now for the purposes of recording this video. So this is what it looks like for the guest as they enter uh, as a guest into video.ninja. So we're going to hit that start button right now. And boom, that is now entered into the system. You can see all of the controls at the bottom. And that is now entered into the system there. So we should be good to go on the guest side. Now let's take a look at what this looks like for the host. Now we're back on the video.ninja scene as the director, right? So the person who's bringing people in, I'm gonna click this option down here on the bottom that allows the person to see, the person who's in as a guest to see me, right? Because they're not gonna see the Ecamm scene window they're not going to see all of that stuff so we want them to actually see me so because i want them to see me i'm going to actually select my camera so i select my camera and i can select of course my microphone and i can talk to this person these are all the connections and and things you would want to see as the director you also have a link for the director a solo link for the director so if you wanted to pull this up on a on a different computer you could pull that up and you would have it on a different computer that way several other functions and features here you can change room quality you can allow for remote directors several other functions that you can see here and if we switch real quick now you can see that i am visible to the guest so this is the guest that's in the system and they can see me just like a normal zoom call or video call so that's what they would see in the system but then how do we add that to ecamm let's take a look at that right now so we're back on the director's scene and if you have more than one guest, you would see all your guests lined up in the director scene, just as you see this for first guest lined up in here as well. I'm gonna hover my mouse over this link at the bottom and it comes up with some, some description, right? It says a direct solo view of the video slash audio stream with nothing else. It's audio can be remotely controlled from here. So you can control the audio from this person, from this video, from this screen right here. But what I'm going to do is actually copy that link. Once that link is copied, now we can take it and add it in to Ecamm as an additional guest, as an additional video feed for your live show. Let's take a look. So now we're back, <laughs> back in this scene again. We've gone all through video.ninja. We've looked at some of those pieces. We brought in a, in, a, in a guest into that system. And you can see that here, I'm still at max capacity on this screen in terms of Ecamm guests. I can't bring it anymore. But with video.ninja, I can bring in those guests in this way. So the, the way to do that is, of course, we copy that link. Now I'm coming here to the overlays scene, the overlays scene, the overlays scene. I'm gonna click on this widget, the world. It looks like a world, it has a plus sign on it. This is the one I'm clicking on. It says new widget, this one right here. So I'm click on that and I'm just going to paste this link, of course, it's already there. Paste this link into uh, the widget and I'm going to name it uh, top down, right? And I can set the frames per second. I can change this to 1080. But, well, let's do 1920. Let's do this right. 1920 by 1080. And we can say add 
widget, right? And now we have that widget added. Gonna make this a little smaller and I can put it anywhere on the screen that I would like as if it is an additional camera in the system. So you can see me move my hands around a little bit. Um, yeah, so that's an additional camera. And if I want, I can add more guests using the same video.ninja method. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this, uh, maybe just change the, 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 the uh, we're gonna just, we're just gonna go ahead and close this widget out. I wanna do that one more time so you can see it. Let's delete that one, do this. We hit the, the widget button here in the overlays scene, the overlays window, hit this widget button, put in our thing. I'm gonna call it top down one more time. And I'm gonna leave it at 800 by 450 this time, just so that it is a lot more quicker refreshing. And click add widget and boom, it's there. Size it wherever you want, however you want, and then drop it into your scene. And now you have another video in your Ecamm scene where this could be a guest. This video could be a guest who's connecting in from wherever. So you can see how you could possibly use this for adding additional guests and getting over that limitation of having only uh, four guests, right? Four additional guests in the system, plus you as the host, being able to do a live show with many, many more guests. Just came out of live demo mode so you can see that a little more closely, a little more clearly. So this is what it looks like as we have five guests plus myself on screen, which means we have six people on screen in the system. Uh, so VDO.Ninja is making this possible. It has some little bugs and quirks. I'm gonna talk about that in just a second as we wrap up this video. In the director screen, you have the ability to speak directly to guests without anyone else hearing. That's dope, similar to EV Mux kinda. The audio from guests brought into Ecamm scenes as a widget overlay will also bring in their audio, which you can control in Video Ninja or directly in Ecamm sound levels using the sound effects slider. I wanna share a few limitations that kinda jumped out at me. I mean, I really noticed these limitations almost immediately. First is, you need to test out the audio routing to ensure you don't end up with double audio from your guests who are coming in from Video Ninja. Second, since we're bringing them in as a widget overlay, video quality can sometimes fall short, but the bigger issue is that they don't behave like a camera overlay, meaning there's no options for radius, border, transition or custom shapes. And you'll have to add them manually to each scene you want them in. But listen, if all you need is to add one or two additional guests to Ecamm past the four guest limit, this could be the option you've been looking for. And let's face it, y'all, <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> Learn more about Ecamm from these videos right here.